friends welcome to my video in this video we'll see how to deploy your flutter application on a wordpress website so let's begin we have to follow these three steps first is we'll build a web app in the flutter application and then deploy the application in any of the hosting services servers like netlify Net Net or firebase and then we'll include that using an iframe code in the html uh, format in your wordpress page so let's start first let's build up our app so I will be reusing one of the apps which I created earlier. So that the tutorial for that uh, creation of this particular app is over here in this particular page. I'll provide this link in the description below. So in this, what we have done is we have created a application which gives a response in a voice. So I'll quickly run this and show how it happens in a Chrome. So incrementing the counter to one incrementing the counter to two so in this application whenever you press this button it will increase this counter and also incrementing the counter to three speak out a particular sentence for the user in user so this is the application so first step is to build this for web. so just go here in the uh, build uh, menu and then flutter and click on build web it may take a while and it will create a web uh, folder once the build is completed so it's done and it's created so let me uh, navigate to it so to create the web folder, you should go to your uh, directory wherever this particular project folder is and in the root of this, you will find a folder called build and inside is web. So this is the folder where all your files related to the this particular app has been convert, converted into JavaScript and the respective HTML file and that's what we will be needing to deploy it in our uh, web uh, hosting server. Now the next step is to deploy the app in one of the hosting servers. So in this example, we'll use Netlify. So just go to netlify.com and log into your account. If not, then do a sign up. So once you have signed up to this uh, portal and uh, log in, this is the home page you will get. So in the, during the login, also it will ask you to deploy your or, uh, website or app. You can do that time. If not, if you have come to this page, then if you we can deploy it manually just by dragging and dropping our folder to this particular uh, place so i'll just go back here and this is the web folder which we have to completely drag and drop over here like this it may take a while uh, to upload so just wait i'll pause the video and okay so it's done deployment is successful perfect it was pretty quick and uh, so i can just do dismiss and you can open the deployed uh, app by clicking on this part, uh, particular button and this will be your link and this is the same app incrementing the counter to one incrementing the counter to two so this is the same app which got deployed on a hosting server which will be always available and we can use this one in our wordpress website so let me go now switch to our third step which is basically adding the ips to our wordpress page so let me create a wordpress page for this just a second so I have logged into my uh, WordPress uh, website in the WP admin mode and over here in the pages I will just click on add new pages so it will take me to the new page area this probably I can give it any heading say for example flutter app deployment testing so, and then I will add a HTML block to test our our application so let me just maximize this and add a html custom html and in this we can add our iframe uh, code which is this one and over here we have to replace this with our actual uh, url which is basically here and if i go back and just replace it with this one i think this one extra and that's all I guess. So if I can just publish it, then I should get a page published and new page option over here. And I'm expecting that application to load over here in a while. Perfect. So if you see this application loaded. Incrementing the counter to one. Incrementing the counter to two. Incrementing the counter to three. Uh, perfect it looks good and i'll be providing this link in the description below which you can also access and see how we can deploy any flutter application in a wordpress website 
So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestion, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.